G'day folks, Andy here at the McDowell Manor again. Um, so this is part two of our repurposing the dog kennel for the new arrival of the chickens. Uh, the nesting box, I'm pleased to say, is now built. I went, I got a bit excited and bracketed a few bits, bits and bobs up just to make sure it wasn't going to collapse on me. Um, not worried about these hinges being small because there's not much weight in this back piece. That's the bit that you can open up so you can take the eggs out on a daily basis. And then for the weekly muck out, we've got this whole side. Hang on, I'll step back so you can see. There's that framed frame that I'd made. It's now in the side and it opens up. I'll show you that. Let's have a look. There you go, look at that. Um, so what I ended up doing... I had to take the board out the bottom for ease of muck up, but of course that was a bloody structural board, wasn't it? So you can see in there, I'll brace the billio out of that corner to make sure it doesn't move. The same with this front corner. I've also braced the billio out of every corner of this door just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. People scared me about how much weight's in my nesting boxes. And I doubled the amount of hinges, so there's now four. Uh, probably if there's a weak point it's still those four hinges. I figure I can always add a couple of more if I need to. Uh, the problem I've got is they can only be a smallish hinge because as you can see there's not much room. Oh, where's my fingertips? There's not much room there. So that panel, the one that's on this frame here, is only half of that. So by necessity they've got to be fairly small hinges to get away with it or I'll have a big bit sticks out. There's all the tools and brackets and rubbish that I'm using. Um, another little trick was that bit there, well where is he, that, there's a bit of the roof there that I overhung so you can see my dodgy job, I had to cut that off so the door would bloody swing shut what a nuisance that was, but anyway that's fixed too so you can see I'm now bracketing the bottom, I'm about to, I've got some long brackets that'll sit on there like that and then bolt directly underneath the nesting box just to give it extra strength again um, and I'm about to do that to add the nesting box so I'll give you a yodel when we're getting close to it eh? So that's how far we've got today folks I've um, wired in underneath there uh, the box is on, there's a little eyelet there that keeps it shut front door's on, the little eyelet to keep it shut Rosie's got a harebrain scheme, she's going to turn that into a window. I think she'll cover it in plastic. Um, that's where the roost goes right the way through the kennel from that point there. Uh, there's a little ramp to get up in. That'll be a wire mesh um, veranda for them. I might even put a railing on if they're lucky. And that's the repurposed dog house. So there'll be a fence that will run between the dog house. There's little Lawrence again and the aquaponics so all I've got really to do is to, yeah they come up there let's just put one fence in across the front there and we've got ourselves a, no I'll put wire there love we've got ourselves a chook house not bad for a retard eh I can't believe I got it done probably fall apart the first time a chook gets in it but hey what the hey all right folks wish me luck I think we shall like name it Palazzo di Pule How's that sound, eh? Class. And there they are. Back out again today. Why are they looking? Don't know what they're looking at, love. They heard some noises, I think. Why is Ram to them? Yeah, placid today. <laughs> 